All right, today was supposed to be the big day that we were supposed to go out to Tool Shed Brewing and check out the brewery, but Graham, one of the owners, had a family emergency, so that's going to be postponed. So hopefully next weekend we're going to get out to the brewery. But instead, I'm going to bring you another video because this year I plan on taking my Jeep out and getting it muddy. So I was out picking up some gear and everything else to help put in the Jeep and keep adding to it as I go. So let's start off by having a look at what I'm going to get and what I'm going to get up to today, which really isn't going to be too much. There's some things in the Jeep I want to look at and my fucking cell phone never stops ringing. So let's go check this shit out. This here is a three quarter ton come along. It's going to come in handy if you need to do some repairs in the field, like if your control arm snapped or something, or, bo or a bolt broke, you could use the come along to pull the axle back in. But mainly, uh, not only for use in my garage, I picked this up in case if you're in a tight situation and your Jeep might end up flipping when you're getting it winched out, you could uh, connect this to the Jeep and um, hook it up to a tree or something to kind of help counterbalance it so your Jeep doesn't like roll out while you're getting winched out and since the movement's slow that you could crank it out slowly release the tension and shit and this I picked up is a 4x30 foot 35,000 pound um, recovery strap it says 17,500 pound maximum vehicle weight which is way more than what my Jeep is I also picked up this one this is a 2 inch by 20 foot 18,000 pound recovery strap and it's got a 9,000 pound maximum vehicle weight. This here is going to be used on the bumper uh, to kind of help balance the point out when you're going to get tugged. I'm going to hook it up to my Jeep and show you what I mean. Couple shackles. This has nothing to do with winching but I was looking for magnetic mounts for cameras and people want way too much money so I'm going to make one out of uh, magnetic welding ground clamp. This one's got a 6.6 .6 pound pull magnet on it and I picked up some quarter inch bolts and we're gonna hook that up together. So let's go out in the garage and start fucking around with this stuff. So the cat groomer couldn't come yesterday to give Tom a shave to get rid of all his matted hair so she's gonna come today between four and five so let's hopefully that she can come because he needs to get rid of his rough hair there so we can start bringing him back all healthy and stuff. Hey buddy? What are you doing laying on the floor, huh? Oh, the cat's life, eh? This is how I plan on running my recovery line on the back of my Jeep. If I hook up to the one clevis there and pull on that side, you could do some damage. But if you have it hooked up to both and you pull, it's always going to balance itself out and hopefully pull pretty much equal on both sides as you're getting winched out and it'd be more of a controlled pull too instead of just whipping your Jeep over to one side. So that's how I'm gonna have that ran up. I just hooked up my drift camera to the magnet mount and we're gonna see if we can figure out what the hell's making that noise in the front with the clunking.
camera fails, I'm out there, hook up the camera on the bottom because usually if I crank a hard left, I start hearing this clicking noise. I was trying to pinpoint what was going on. Nah, I wouldn't do it, wouldn't fucking do it. So, gonna have to carry the camera with me and then when it does it, fucking hook up the camera, make it repeat itself and then hopefully I can track down that noise sooner before later. So I've been some thinking about this A33 transmission I was gonna use. I think I'm going to scrap that now because it's a 4 speed only. I really like the vintage um, Hearst shifter. I could sell that and make pretty good money. But when I'm driving down the highway at 100 kilometers an hour and I'm revving at 3000 RPMs, it's not going to be good. I think I'm going to run a Tremec TKO 5 speed transmission. I can get the whole kit from Eckler's Classic Chevy for about $3300. That's a transmission, bell housing, clutch, um, cross member, everything I need to install it. The only thing I need to buy separate is my, that or change out my throat bearing, whether I want to go hydraulic or if I want to go, you know, standard. But I'm going to go with a hydraulic throat bearing because I want a hydraulic clutch instead of like a standard. So I think I'm going to save up some money for that because that's a long ways away. Because we've got a lot of work to do in the car before then, like getting the body work and all that done. So transmission and who knows, maybe by that time I might change my mind and decide, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to use that Chevy 350. Maybe I might buy myself an LS1 or something and throw that in with a standalone fuel management system and be done with it. Who knows what's going to happen. I'm always on the lookout for deals and my mind changes all the fucking time. But uh, the cat groomer should be coming pretty soon, so I'm going to go inside and get uh, cleaned up and clean up the house a little bit and get ready for that. Maybe we'll see Tom with the shaved haircut afterwards. But fucking, didn't get up to too much today, but um, we'll figure something out to fill the time for the rest of the day. Now that's what I call shaved pussy. Hey buddy, no more mats for you. All your hair's gone. You're not gonna be in pain anymore because your hair's all matted up. I got your little mouse there with catnip in it so you can relax, be happy. My poor little rescue cat. Alright, I'm just sitting downstairs in my basement drinking a Holston Premium Beer. It's Germany Brew Beer. My weekend was pretty low keyed. Everything got cancelled. I was supposed to go into work. I was a maybe, I said. I ended up didn't go in. Went out Friday night, had a few drinks, this and that, and didn't go in, slept all day Saturday. Um, cat groom was supposed to come on Saturday, she didn't come, but come on Sunday. Was supposed to film on the brewery on Sunday, and that didn't happen, so it was fucking, you know, I still made the best out of it with the short notice I got, trying to put a video together. But this next, this weekend coming up is our family day weekend, so long weekend. Not sure what I'm going to get up to. An ex-co-worker, Brian, has a 2005 F-150 that's making some sort of horrible screaming noise. He sent me a video. I'm not sure what it's about. So I may take on that task uh, just to make another video and stuff. Uh, kind of help uh, create some videos because it's been kind of slow going right now. Um, creating videos because I haven't really been doing much in the garage and waiting on parts and this and that. And really just not really want to be in the garage in the wintertime is... You know, I can't fucking sugarcoat it. I just don't like to work in the wintertime. I'd rather be doing stuff. But, so there's that. It is Valentine's um, this weekend too. Like I said, family day, so I'm not sure. I'm hoping to get into the brewery, shoot that video. Um, going to get in touch with Tool Shed tomorrow and see um, if we can make something happen. Other than that, maybe head out do some photography. I um, think I'm going to go to a Jeep meet on Thursday night, meet some local Jeepers in town, and uh, see if I can get out and maybe start doing some wheeling and stuff. I um, don't know what else to really fucking say. Anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. Things are kind of slow right now. Bear with me. We'll get this done. And once summertime comes, I can be in the garage like every day. Because if it's nice and warm out and I don't have to fire up the heater, then fucking videos will pick up again. 
But just kind of bear with me. We'll get through this, and soon enough the snow will be melting. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, it's motherfucking beer time. Talk to you guys later.